Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Virgo with a clear and concise message from you. So you have the Knight of Cups. You have the Star card. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, so a lot of love between you and someone else. Um, someone could be in love with being in love here. Someone could have some real fantasy or fanatical ideas. Someone could be a writer or in some type of creative um, field, career field, some creative position. I'm here in even creative writing. Someone could write fiction. Mm -hmm. Could write about intergalactic star sea, stargazing. I don't know, something <laughs> uh, like a cyber type, not cyber, but um, like a the solar system. What do you call it when people write about other worlds? I don't know. But you could write about, you know, interplanetarium travel or other worlds or something of that nature. You could be as, you know, imaginative and creative as just as, as that. Some of you are in a fashion. Um... Some of you, this was an offer, and I think it was extended from you, Virgo, the the Nine of Cups, with the High Priestess and the Nine of Wands clarifying it. Someone didn't take to your offer because they have things that they haven't told you. They, they may have like some solitary secret plan with the High Priestess. They, their, their plan doesn't really include you right now or at all. I don't know. Um, they could want to maintain a connection with um you know non-committal no strings attached with the nine of wands or they're in and out um or there's like an in and out energy whether it's not that they're in and out of your life but maybe they come in and out of your home or you know like you know one week you see them and then next week maybe you just talk to them on the phone and then the following week you see them and then the next week you know it's like something that's off and on in and out hot and cold the relationship has been rocky from the start. Somebody is questioning, should I continue to put energy into this connection? Somebody's too stuck and too concerned with the past and bringing up the past and holding it over someone's head. There's a level of guilt here. Someone could um, have wanted to take the connection to the next level, but again, their offer wasn't taken with the five of pentacles that left somebody displaced left them in a place of um, feeling ignored neglected shunned shut out lack of confidence in themselves in this relationship just completely displaced here somebody could be going through the healing process of the star carter because this is your advice heal um know thyself love thyself get on the right path because if anything is making you this confused in your emotions then it's not the right path for you there might be children or a child involved somebody has body issues that holds the, the connection of the relationship up also, somebody just doesn't feel confident because of that. It could be a husband figure or father figure, whomever he may be, who's kind of stagnating the relationship, who's very dominant, keeps it right where it needs to be, maintaining the status quo here. Someone's very forceful. 
someone has secrets and or they or you are their little secret they want to keep the relationship toxic stuck stagnant not growing there's no room for growth this is as far as it can go this is how that person wants to keep it this is someone who's married they could be doing this someone who doesn't have room to make a relationship grow someone who you have been a, a forever lover to you guys aren't building towards a foundation of anything or it's always a, a rebuilding that stop and go energy they're also this is like indicative of a a long-term third-party situation where it's been going on for years somebody stays in their connection for the children or yeah for the children if someone wants your attention or they're getting the attention from a lot of other people there's a specific woman here that you don't know about. There's somebody giving attention, gratification, money, time, energy to another party. And they um, continuously and purposely keep you stuck uh, on thinking about long-term family unit, legacy, growing old together, grandkids, this and that. I mean, I guess it's a good way to think about it, but um, there's somebody else here. You are the person outside of their connection, outside of their relationship. You could live on the outskirts of town. The other person can live in the inner city or near them or I don't know. This is a layered connection, like somebody's got two relationships going on. Someone has a big love for one person and maybe a new and small love for another. Someone reduced their offer down to the page of cups. Well, you know, well, at least can we talk about it? Can we just be cordial? Can we be friends? Will we still date? Blah, blah, blah. Something's not moving forward like someone planned. It's like a move. Somebody wanted to move. Now somebody's just kind of cold and cutthroat and bitchy. And the other person is uncaring, manipulative, and an outright liar. And they have another person. And they're just not telling the truth. And they've left... Maybe the person they were married to or have the obligation to or the family with, they left them out in the cold. Or you got left out in the cold, Virgo. Not exactly sure here. If it resonates for you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. You can also text a question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.